Okay, and lastly, let me showcase how we can export group of components. So this is going to be a little bit different and also a very useful extension, Glean, and maybe less useful to some people, but to me also very useful, a code spell checker. So first, let's start with example directory, where we'll take a look at how we can export as a group. First, I want to navigate to app.jsx. I want to clean this up. So I'm going to remove the existing ones. Then we want to navigate back to the star. We'll create another folder. And in this case, the folder name is going to be example. Example in here, let's create two more components. So I'll call this first component and second. As always, JSX, JSX. So let's create that component. I think I'm going to go with heading two just so we can see it better. So first component, okay, awesome. And then we want to do the same thing here with the second one. So second and component. JSX, okay, beautiful. Let's create that, awesome. And then let's change it to a heading two. So another way how we can export from this example, essentially I can set up a index and I can import all of these ones, what I have in the example in the JSX. Now, why that would be beneficial? Well, let's imagine you have some kind of component that is using, for example, five other components. Again, instead of those components being just scattered around your project, if you know that you'll definitely use those five components inside of that one component, well, it kind of makes sense. You set up index JSX, you just import all of them and you're good to go. So just to showcase that, we can go to new file. Again, remember, yes, index JSX or JS is going to be the main entry point. So at the moment we create that file, yep, as far as the paths and all that, it's going to point to this example. And in here we simply want to create a component and let's call this, I don't know, example, why not? So let me select all of them and we're going to call this example. We'll also rename this and then we want to import those two components. So we want to go here with the first component and second component. And you know what? I think it's going to make more sense if I'll place a div over here and then one by one, I'll add both of those components. So first component, close it here. And then second component as well. So auto import second component. Awesome. Let's save that. And it looks like I forgot to change it over here. So we need to go with example. And now we simply want to go back to app JSX and we want to grab that example folder. So let's go here, example, and check it out. Now we'll have example and first and second component. Again, something that has a very specific use case. You don't have to do that for every project, but here and there it's somewhat nifty. And that's why I decided to add it to tutorial. And now let's take a look at those two extensions, like promised. So first of all, this one, somewhat straightforward, but extremely, extremely useful for me, the code spell checker. And it's somewhat self-explanatory. It just checks for spelling errors. And this is very useful, especially if you're following along, because it will right away notify you if your name is off. Now, it's not looking for the error. It's just going to say, hey, listen, the spelling here is incorrect. And why I'm telling you that, because quite often I see students sharing their code and I can see that the problem is that they used the wrong name in the first place. Let's say there's some kind of spelling error and then later on they use the correct one and then things don't work. So I think it's going to be easier if I showcase that. Let's imagine that in here I'll have some kind of function. So I'm going to go with const and then handle and change. Now everything is awesome. But let's imagine that as I was adding this function, instead of handle, I went like this. So right away, I have this blue squiggly line, which is going to tell me, hey, listen, I mean, technically, there's nothing wrong with your code, but you should probably check this. Does this really make sense? As I know, this is super useful for me because I'm the worst speller ever. And then I also want to showcase the Glean extension. And what's really cool about this extension we can pretty much take elements we want to set up as component and right away create a file. 
So let's imagine the scenario in the app, I have some kind of element. Let's say div and inside of it, I'm going to have a heading three. And I'm going to say hello world. Now, if I want to set up a separate component, what is normally the path? Well, I need to create a component somewhere here, right? And then I need to grab the elements and then copy and paste. And it's much faster with Gleam. So effectively, I can select the elements I want to extract. I want to click on a light bulb and check it out. We have this option, extract component to file. We click, we need to pick the directory. In my case, I'm going to go to source. Keep in mind that, of course, you can go to tutorial, for example. I'm just picking the easy option. And then we're going to go here with test. So the file name. And I'm going to go with JSX. And notice how right away, not only it sets up the component, not only it imports it, but it also right away sets up the component file as well. And what's really cool, it even provides the props, which is super nifty. If, for example, you're iterating over the list and then you're passing in some props into the elements, you can essentially right away set it up as a component and extract it. Again, super, super useful extension. We save it over here and notice the result did not change. However, this is much faster. And effectively, this concludes the project structure section. And up next, I want to talk about how we can leverage JavaScript in React.